Alright, welcome back everyone to another text on video. Uh, recently I posted this photo on Facebook, on my uh, Facebook account, and uh, these are three clones of me in my room. And I got so much comments already and they were all like, how the hell did you do this and this is amazing and at one point someone asked me to make a YouTube tutorial on it. So uh, this is how I did it, okay? So first of all, you will need to take three pictures of yourself. Uh, now here's the main thing, okay? You the camera has to be the same for all the images you're gonna take, okay? And the camera must be taken from the e the picture must be taken from the exact same position. Now that can be now that can be dealt with with the use of a tripod, okay? So I used a camera stand or a tripod in order for this to work to keep the camera still. And I took three pictures of myself. One is where I'm standing here. The other one where I'm standing here, I mean uh, sitting, just thinking what the hell's going on. The other one is where I'm like listening to my iPod and all that, okay? So, uh, let's begin. So I'm going to be using this uh, picture as the main one because, one, because of the wires you can see over here from my headphones, which is not really there on the other photos, okay? So this is why I'm going to be selecting this as the ma uh, main photo, okay? So. Let's go to this one first. I'll just drag this out. And uh, I'm going to be using Photoshop, by the way. Yeah, you need Adobe Photoshop. I'm going to be using Adobe Photoshop CS5. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag this photo into the main photo, which I'm going to be editing with. Align this properly. And now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cart, m cart myself out of this picture and put it on the main one, okay? So this is how you do it. You're gonna go to the toolbox, toolbox or whatever over here. Right-click and select the magnetic lasso tool. Okay. And now you're just gonna start from here, and you can see all these points get attached to whatever the surface next to it is. So what you're basically gonna do is just draw. Make sure the edges go around your whole body. Okay. So it automatically attaches to it. If you do a mistake, like see, see, one point is already assigned. If you if you made a mistake, just press delete to delete whatever the points that are selected. Now I'm also gonna include the chair over here, and I'll sh I'll tell you why in a bit. So I'll just draw there, and I'll also include part of the table. I'll tell you why I'm gonna do the table as well in a bit. And at one point you get that circle next to it, just select it and you're done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click, layer via cut. And now layer 1 is just the background, you're just going to delete that. And there you go, you've already done the first part. And there's, there are a couple of fixes I need to do. Now if you can see, there is a small hole on my chair and you cannot see the trouser around it. Fix that, just right click over here and select the magic wand tool and just select that small gap uh, if, if that doesn't work no oh yeah select the layer where you are in it my bad the one you cut off there you go that gap should be selected press delete and now you can see this guy's trouser behind uh, your chair over here okay so now I've already done the first part. Now the reason why I selected the table because I want my arm shadow to be there as well. You can see there is a shadow over here on my arm. So that's why I cut the table out as well. <coughs> okay, so we've already done the first part. Let's do this one. So let me just drag this in here. Uh, okay, now it's in line. Now again, use the magnetic lasso tool and just cut yourself out. Now just watch what I'm going to do. Now I'm going to take the back as well over, whoops, my bad. 
I'm gonna take the back over here as well because there is a shadow on the wardrobe behind me so that's why I want the shadow to be there as well whoops if you if you want to go further and it automatically sticks to something else you can always click it to make a point of your own so I'll just make a couple of them and let's go back to my head whoops and then we're done so right click there be a cut and then select the background the remaining part and delete it and there you go you're already done now the good thing that we have done here is that we have still the shadows from the other photos you can see there's the arm shadow right here and there's and the shadow behind me on that wardrobe right there and also uh, people would think that you just mixed up the photos well uh, the clock over here is still intact otherwise there will be like multiple minute hands if you were to mix these photos together and uh, the wire from my headphones is still exists because uh, this is still intact let's say this the first photo it's still intact okay whereas uh, the second and the third photo my, uh, my part has been cut out of that photo and put into the original photo okay so you've already done the cloning effect like I did on Facebook and uh, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, well, subscribe for more. So thanks for watching and have a great day.